Hey guys, so I know today is kind of a strange background, but this used to be my old makeup filming room. If you guys remember way back in the day, if you've been following me for a long time, I actually had part of my desk and stuff sitting in front of me and I had hot pink walls in the background. <laughs> that was years ago. And then we got our beautiful Emily and it has been her room ever since. And it's purple and it has fun things and it has all her pictures and her clothes. But I thought it would be kind of nostalgic to film in here. Plus it has the best daylight. I used to never have to use lights when I would film in this room ever. And pretty much anywhere else in the house, I have to use some sort of lights. So. Today is going to be week six of weight loss. We're going to call it Wednesday this week because today is Wednesday. If you follow my vlog channel regularly, then you know for the past three or four days, I've been, four days, I've been kind of under the weather. I've called into work three out of those four days and I just am super tired <laughs> and I'm really just trying to recuperate day by day. So Monday I did weigh in, but I just did not have the energy to film. It was like everything in me to even be able to film for my vlog channel. So here we are, we're gonna call this Weight Loss Wednesday and it's going to be quick, but I had a phenomenal week. I'm super, super excited. I lost 4.2 pounds. So I've had a total weight loss of 20, let me tell you, I 21.9 pounds. So almost 22 pounds. I, I am 287.5 and then don't forget I always have my stats listed down below but I started at 309.4 309.4 287.5 I have not been 287 since before I got pregnant with autumn um, and even then it had been several months because when I got pregnant with autumn I was like low 290s 289 somewhere where somewhere around there so again, this is not a weight that I haven't been before. I have been this weight before, but it feels nice to get back down to it. I'm finally starting to feel like my clothes are fitting better. My stomach is not as like protruding. It doesn't look like I'm as pregnant <laughs> as I once did. And I feel better about myself. I definitely do. Now, today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And I don't plan on having like a cheat meal or anything like that. I have been indulging more in some cheat meals on Mondays after I weigh in so that I have the entire week to kind of burn it off, should I say. Uh, last Monday, I did have a burger and some tater tots from Sonic with chili and cheese on them. And I was so surprised. I did not weigh in at all the entire week from... Monday Monday was my first weigh in so I went an entire seven days without weighing in you guys should be super proud because you know that for me that's a huge thing and I went to work out one no I stayed here I did an um in the house type of workout and I did uh fit the fitness marshals dancing videos on YouTube for about 30 minutes and it was great that was all I did I just watched what I ate. I have wanted to address a lot of questions that I've been getting here recently on these weight loss videos. Uh, the number one thing I think I get is about weight loss surgery. So here's how I feel about weight loss surgery. It's probably a little bit different of an angle. I had to switch out my camera battery. So back to weight loss surgery. I am not against weight loss surgery. Um, I do think that it is 100% doable to lose the weight that I want to lose naturally. Weight loss surgery isn't something that I would consider right now in my life for multiple reasons. First off, I've done a lot of research. I've seen it firsthand from multiple people and I don't think it's for me. I really don't. I want to be able to not feel restricted and have the will the willpower to restrict myself and so far I've struggled with it my entire life each journey has been a little bit different and maybe eventually that would be something that I would consider when I would just be at my last straw and I'm hoping this is my last straw I'm hoping this is it I can stay on this lifestyle change and live a more healthy lifestyle forever until however long it takes me to lose the weight or even if I don't ever lose all of it if I can just maintain a healthier lifestyle that's my goal Again, I'm not against weight loss surgery. If you've had it and you've had great success, good for you. Like I'm not knocking anyone that has had it. I know in my heart 
I may want another baby and I would never consider getting weight loss surgery until I know 100% I'm done having children because I do work in labor and delivery and again if you've had a baby and you've had weight loss surgery nothing against you I just am telling you what I've seen from my own experience I've taken care of a lot of moms who have had gastric bypass gastric sleeve lap band at some point they've had some sort of weight loss surgery and nine times out of ten the baby's growth is a little restricted because in some form just because they're not you're not getting as many nutrients and neither are they again nobody there's no reason to like I'm not trying to argue with anybody or say that if you had some sort of weight loss surgery and you had a baby that your baby was born unhealthy because I'm sure there's someone out there that's gonna be like oh I had weight loss surgery and I had an eight pound perfectly healthy baby I'm not not saying that it's not possible at all so please don't take it the wrong way I'm just saying I've seen it a lot and most of the time again not all the time most of the time pregnancy is restricted in some way um, so I wouldn't even consider it until I'm done having children that being said even if I knew I was done having children I don't know that that would be for me I really don't I see the struggles that my aunt goes with uh, goes through and I just don't know that I want to live that lifestyle for the next 50 60 years if I live that long you know somebody like for my aunt who is in her mid 50s she doesn't have to live with the restriction or she won't have to live with the restriction for as long as somebody who's younger would have to live with it so I feel like I'm young enough and she tried for years to get the weight off by herself through diet and exercise and it just didn't it didn't happen for her so for myself I feel like I'm young enough that I am capable I'm not injured I'm fairly healthy even though I'm obese I'm fairly healthy that I can attempt to do it by myself first and that's where I'm at in that in this stage of my life I'm at the point where I want to try again <laughs> before I go to like a last resort type of thing which I feel like for myself not for anybody else but for myself weight loss surgery would be my last resort so there's that because I get a lot a lot of questions about why wouldn't you just consider weight loss surgery and again I would love to drop a hundred pounds in a year I think that would be phenomenal I think I've used phenomenal 25 times in the same vlog it would be amazing to lose that much weight in a short period of time but to see I already struggle with like hair loss and protein deficits and vitamin D deficits and I don't really want to put myself in a situation to incur any more issues with those things that already make me feel self-conscious as it is so that's that um i also have got the question about caloric intake and seeing a nutritionist some people were nice about it some people were totally rude and to both of you who have recommended seeing a nutritionist maybe i would benefit maybe i wouldn't i don't know anytime i've ever talked to a doctor in the past because remember i've struggled with weight for years since i was a teenager maybe even right before that um, I've spoken to nutritionists and, and trainers way in the past and I realize things are different now um, the biggest thing that a nutritionist wants to do for you is put you on a set caloric intake and that brings me to how many calories I've been eating a lot of people say like 1800 is too many I should be eating less well I'm not and I've lost weight so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about that. I don't think that I am the end-all be-all, that I know everything, not at all. I feel like I learn something all the time from you guys, from people in real life, from the internet. I actually would consider going back to a trainer. I used to have a trainer right before we got married, and I would love to go back to a trainer. They're just very expensive, and I have other goals in my life right now, and I feel like if I can maintain my food, I can continuously lose little bits of weight here and there before I truly would need a trainer. That being said, I do feel like I would benefit from exercise. 100% I'm not doubting that. I would benefit from exercising, whether it be to bring loose skin in, um, to burn more calories throughout the day, to have more energy, to lose more weight, whatever your goals are for exercising, I feel like I would benefit, no doubt, in my mind. Um, that's just not something right now 
that I have made a priority and I do plan on it. I just haven't made it a priority. I've worked out like three or four times since I started this January 1st. And again, for me, that's okay. That's kind of what I've dealt with and I plan on changing it. I was very discouraged last week when I gained half a pound, but then to come back this week and I was eating 1800 calories. You can follow me on my fitness pal. I have zero reason to lie to you guys. Some people were saying this past week that like my stories don't add up. I literally have zero, zero reason to lie. If I'm willing to come up, up here and share with you guys my weight and my stats and how my week went and the fact that I had Sonic last Monday, why? Like I really have no reason to lie. None whatsoever. If I had reason to lie, I wouldn't be filming the videos. I mean, it's just as simple as that. So, that being said, I am having 1800 calories pretty much every single day. Some days I go a little below. I think one day, besides Monday when I had the Sonic, of course, I w did go over that day. I think one day I went to like 1825 or something like that, but not a huge deal. So what I've been doing is eating more protein, less fat, so complete opposite of keto, because keto diet is a high fat, moderate protein, low carbs. Um, so I've been eating high protein, moderate carbs, moderate fat. And it seemed to have worked. 4.2 pounds, first off, is amazing. I didn't even lose that my second week of doing keto. So that's really awesome. Uh, now this week I don't know that I'll lose as much because my little lady friend is here and will be here for the next few days. So I may be fighting off some bloating. Hopefully not though. Um, I did want to address those few questions. Like I said, that those of you that thought maybe I was eating too many calories. And it, it's like... I'm kind of disappointed in the fact that just because I gained half a pound one week that you guys would think, not all of you, but the few of you that were very ugly to me, would think that I would lie. Like, oh, that I'm lying to myself. That's why I gained. <laughs> I don't know. Because that previous week, I had zero cheat meals. I had nothing extra than what I was supposed to. And I feel like it was getting off of keto. Because I, and then some people were saying I didn't even, I wasn't doing keto. How, why would I lie and say I was doing keto? You're doing low carb, whatever you want to call it. The low carb, extreme low carb diet I was doing before with the high fat content, whatever you want to categorize that, categorize that into. Um, when I was getting off that and then that week that I started to incorporate more fruits and extra vegetables and higher protein and some carbs in there. You know, I had bread, I had sandwiches and things like that. In moderation, I stayed every day. I've kept my carbs 70 to 100. So not under 20 like keto or super low carb. I don't even know what low carb is considered. I've been staying between 70 grams and 100 grams of carbohydrates a day. I think one day this past week I went to like 110 or something. Um, and it seemed to work out okay. Now that's not to say every week it'll work out okay like that, but I really think that week that I gained half a pound last Monday was from transitioning from keto, low carb, to a more everything in moderation. Now again, I say everything in moderation, but I'm not like, oh, let me have a piece of chocolate every day and let me have chips with every meal just because it's within my calories. I'm still eating very healthy for the most part. You know, for breakfast, I'm having a well-balanced meal. For instance, I will have two eggs, a slice of bacon. Um, one morning I had a quarter of a cup of oatmeal with half a banana in it with some cinnamon and some stevia mixed into it. And it was a very delicious, healthy breakfast. Now that may be a lot for you guys, but it was right around 500 calories and it kept me full for a long time. And yes, it had carbs. Yes, it had fat. Yes, it had lots of protein. It was a well-balanced breakfast to me. Another day, I also had eggs and bacon and a protein pancake and I topped it with some strawberries. Again, well-balanced in my eyes. For lunch, I may have a wrap with some sort of meat and cheese and a side of veggies or a side salad. Um, for snacks, I've been having nuts, um, cheese sticks, a fruit, piece of fruit. Every once in a while, I'll do a protein bar if I had a really light lunch and I have a long time between lunch and dinner, I'll do a protein bar. Uh, especially if I'm going 
out like if I'm going shopping or running errands or I'm going to work I'll have something a little heavier for a snack like a protein bar with lots of water it's another thing I've been chugging water like nobody's business dinner every day this week I have kept it carb less or as few carbs as I can aside from Monday okay that Sonic did, doesn't count <laughs> um because that was my cheat meal for the day. But what I did was, what I've been doing is having my protein with vegetables. And if I want extra vegetables, I eat them. So they're not 100% carbless because all, most veg, all every vegetable has some sort of carbs. But I have been eating carrots and squash and zucchini and cauliflower, broccoli, green beans. You name it, I eat it. Spaghetti squash. I eat all of it. Um, for dinner it doesn't matter to me but I just do a protein and a vegetable and then I don't eat after dinner at all if we eat dinner at 5 30 or at 7 30 I don't eat anything after dinner if I'm hungry I'll drink water and I really think that has been helping me sorry I'm not sure <laughs> someone keeps texting me I really think that has been the biggest thing that has helped me throughout this entire week has been not eating late and making sure at dinner time I'm drinking lots of water and I have a protein and a vegetable. So when I'm having my carbs, when I'm having my not even unhealthy stuff, just my more carb based things or my fattier items, I have them for breakfast or for lunch. And that way they're throughout the day and I have more time to burn them off. And then dinner's a lighter meal, more on the healthy side, if that's what you want to call it. So that's what I did the entire week and it seemed to work great. I was about to say phenomenal. It seemed to work out great. 4.2 pounds is an awesome loss. I anticipate this next week losing. Probably not as much because I feel like whenever you mix it up, the first week or two, you're always going to lose more than what you're going to lose as, as time goes on. And so, yeah, I just wanted to address those basic questions. I'm not trying to come off ugly in any way or snooty or anything or that I know better than you because I take y'all's advice so much I read through comments even if I don't respond to everyone I read through comments all the time and I'm like hey this person suggested this or this Instagram or this recipe or whatever and I look at what y'all got what y'all say all the time and I take it into account definitely especially somebody that has a similar experience to me but at the same time just because it's working for you keep in mind that something that you're doing may not work for everyone which is the same for me but the reason that I share my story with you guys is for the few comments of you guys that are like, oh, I'm starting with you. I know a lot of my viewers are plus size women. I know because y'all tell me. And a lot of you are moms and you struggle. Maybe you're single or you're married and you're struggling in your relationship. And I know people can relate to me and my family. And that's why I share with you guys. I don't share to get bashed. I don't share to not be held uh, accountable for something. I don't share to lie. And I, it hurts me that some people think that I would do that to you guys. It's not the case at all. Like I said, if you don't if you don't believe me, you want to look at what I'm doing every day, go follow me on my, my fitness pal. That's why I kept it public. Not only to hold myself accountable, but so that you guys could see Oh, for lunch, she had this. That sounds like a great meal. You know, things like that. So anyway, this was like a 20 minute rambly vlog of weight loss Wednesday this week because we're uploading on a Wednesday. Hopefully you guys had a, ugh, I cannot get that word out of my head. Hopefully you guys had an amazing week and you were able to lose or at least get yourself going this week. We can do it together. I know we can. This is definitely a journey and it's not a sprint and I know that and even though in six weeks I've lost almost 22 pounds and I am so proud of that I know it's gonna take me a long time and I'm gonna have ups and downs and I'm totally okay with that I am so hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's update sorry it came two days late I just I'm just now feeling better so hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing it on a Wednesday instead of a Monday. <laughs> I will see you guys next week, hopefully a little bit lighter.